So our ISP provided us the range of 172.16.128.0 slash 17, and we need to divide that into 30 networks. So we look at our range. Our range is 172.16.128.0 through 172.16.255.255. I have 15 bits available to modify. I need 30 networks. Look up on my list. 16 is too few, 32 is too many, but will work, so we need 5 bits. So we're going to set up the problem. We put our given address that we received from our ISP up at the top. We put our subnet mask that our ISP gave us, which was slash 17. We put that below that and then draw a line between our network portion and host portion that was given to us. We then calculate our new mask by taking our given mask, slash 17, adding 5 bits to it, and then drawing another line that represents the end of our borrowed bits section. Now we can calculate network 0 or any other networks. So here we want to do network 0, convert 0 to binary, put it into our borrowed bits section, put all zeros in the host portion, we get our network address. Calculate network number 7. Convert 7 to binary, put it into our borrowed bits section here. 00111 is the number 7. All zeros in the host portion is our network address. Network number 16. Here we have 10000 in my borrowed bits section. Network number 16, all zeros in the host portion. Last, network number 25, convert 25 to binary, and that is. 11001. All zeros in my host portion is my network address. Let's break these up into 8 bit sections and take a look at our decimal conversion. So, network number 7 is 172.16.135.0 slash 22. Network number 16, 172.16.192.0 slash 22. And network number 25, 172.16.225.0 slash 22. Now, what's the application of this? When will I ever need to know what network number 16 is? Chances are you'll never need to know what network number 16 is. The point of this exercise is primarily to get you familiar with how the subnet mask works. It is a, an exercise that you repeat and repeat and repeat, and eventually a gigantic light bulb will go off as bright as the sun, and you'll see how this process works, and everything else you touch with IP addresses from now on, after you learn this very well, will make extreme sense.